Welcome to Kitty Plays Morrowind. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be the host for this episode. So we finally did it. We finally arrived in Schlefteenth, the Dwarven Ruins, where we should extract the excavation report from. We just arrived, and, well, I'm not sure where to go. The old rule for mazes is stick to one side, always always take the same turn. And I think I'm going to stick to the right hand side and see what's behind these doors. There is some person. Let us see if they will attack us or not. Actually two people. They won't, so I think these are not bandits that um, attacked and killed the excavation party. So how about these reports? Senilius Cadius Cadius I have to admit after changing the volumes the voice volume is now so low that I actually didn't hear anything or didn't understand anything. I'm Senilia Cadius and this is my daughter Penya. I'm excavating these Dwemer ruins. Oh, did Edvinia send you? I'm afraid I don't have an excavation report for her. Uh, what do you mean, no excavation report? I mean, you've been sent here and you've been told to make one. Explain yourself. I don't exactly have an excavation report for her. Tell Edwina everything's fine. We've just had a few um, uh, setbacks. Um, our native guide, Anna Svendu, is missing. Uh, missing, you say? Well, my, maybe I could help you with finding this Anas Vendu. What was he doing? Well, he, he was taking notes for our next excavation report, and he must have taken it with him when he disappeared. Uh, somehow he must have gotten into the lower levels. Did you try and find him? Well, if it gets at Vina her exca precious excavation report... <sighs> Well, I think I'm going to do this. So, yeah, how about you? Oh, what do you want? That's very... Do you know anything about this Anna Svendu fella? I've been worried about him. Right before he left for the lower levers. He le levers. The lower levers. <laughs> <laughs> there are the upper levers and the lower levers. <clears throat> the lower levels, he kept saying something about the test of pattern. I hope he's alright. Oh, test of pattern? I hope this is not some kind of sewing or crocheting thing. Well, we'll see. Let me first check out this place here. So you've got your rusty dreamer co dwemer cogs. Which I'm totally going to use to take. Let me see which was the button to take only one. I think this was not in place in this game. Let's click. There we go. And now starts the infamous loop. As I thought, Malakmar. So let us see if we can find a place where we can sell these. <laughs> Slave market. We're going to deal with that later. Which means... I'm going to take a little note. Slave market in Molag. Yeah, of course. Of course, you don't know the name of a fictional place. Slave Market in Molagmar. There we go. Noted. A hostel. This is this is the place that I was looking for before. <laughs> Anywho, the waste works through an owned door. So, let's 
smith wants one by then the pilgrims maybe that was the wrong door <laughs> that's where i wanted to go check out if they are there we go Uh, let us see if he buys them because he does buy ingredients but he only buys ingredients but well, let's get rid of those then <clears throat> mm, so much for that you should always check the gold that the your that your trading partner has something like uh, Something like that, and then half of that is like this. I will listen up to them, but okay, I'm listening. Seems like there is no. Well, I haven't checked everywhere. It seems like there is no trader which has a big purse here in Molagmar. Mm -hmm. Okay, this goes to the next level, I think. There is also nothing else here. Let us see. It seems like we don't have any traders in here, which of course renders these uh, dwarven ruins as a possible source of income. Mm, not so good. Well, at least I can do the quest, I think. No, at least I can do the quest. <sighs> well, I'm not going to give up that easily. Let me real quick check what else do we have. The underworks. Still. I am going to give up rather easily, but not that easily. Let's put it that way. Let's get back upstairs and check the t and also check the temple. There might be something over here also. Hmm, I don't think that there is someone in here buying the Dwemer cogs. I bet you're not interested in them. Okay, but that's not a surprise. Okay. Well, this means... That I'm go just going to do this. All the nice money. I don't want to run back and forth all the time to some place. Like, I don't want to run far. Some place. Mm, salt rice. This is one of these observatories. And again, it's just too bad that you can't use them, that you can't interact with them. But this game was, I think, too early for that. Did you just hear that voice? Uh, well. I'm sure, it was nothing. Let's see what's here. 
just a bedroom. There? What? Uh, that's creepy. Okay, now we're in the test of pattern. From the name, it seems like this is a, um, a, a puzzle. That's the word, puzzle. Because if these two are broken, so I'm, I'm trying to figure out things that are the same and different. So this is a broken tube, this is a broken tube, and this is a non-broken tube. So I guess either I have to activate this crank or the other two, as it says pattern. I assume that I'm doing the wrong thing here. I'm taking a bit of poison damage and healing back up. Maybe it is as simple as this is the non-broken... Yeah. Okay. I thought I needed to activate both of the other two. Well, that was a hard test. <laughs> Down into the lower levers, levers we go, from the upper levers, where we pulled one off. I could see the shadow of a spider thing. I hate spiders. I can hear the clinkety clankety. Oh, oh no. This does not bode well. I should have selected this before <laughs> before moving on. Well, anywho. Drop a little safe. <laughs> okay, uh, as I said, there is a ghost, and let's do this. Yeah. Uh, this is what I wanted to do, and select this one. Twenty points, yes. I think just like that other yeah this is why I did a quick save because um, I know I could have used potions I think I don't have any restore magic potions though but to be honest I that's too frustrating like attacking the wall all the time no Come here. Did the magic cancel out or something? Is this a thing? It seems like it. Mm hmm. Seems like my first attack got cancelled out. It it attacked the other attack. Basically, my spell attacked the other spell instead of instead of the enemy. There goes. That's what I actually plan to do. Perfect. Okay, so we found Ennis Vendu, and he seems to have killed a Sphere Centurion, dropped a book called Hanging Gardens, 
And then was killed by some ghost thing. And there is the report that we need. And of course, we're taking this book. And, well, the centurion has nothing for us. And what's that? what does the ghost have? Ectoplasm. Take all. Weight 10, value 20. That's more like it. Weight 2, value 200. I think this... This ghost wasn't the only one. A diamond. That's very uh, heavy. And we'll take all the not so heavy things. As you can see, this is. And a close it. 1860, this should be okay. Always comparing weight and value. Okay, so this is. This is where he died. goes the spider. Let's head back and heal up. And then due to the power of quick savings uh, of auto savings, see what else this place has to offer us. So we've been down here. Another bedroom. A hallway with lava. I wonder how the people, how the dwarves live there with all the lava. I mean, yeah, they're dwarves. I guess they're basically used to that. No, oh, this spider is currently attacking me. Let's see if I can hit it. Nope, I can't. So this means we need to figure out a way to get up there. There actually is an easy way to get up there. And didn't I learn? Water walking, water breathing. Nope. And these are the designer shoes that we should have given someone. Nope. I didn't learn. I have a potion for it. Yeah. I'm not going to use that potion now. And there we go. Back to the upper levels. And then there is another bedroom, and this is basically the exit, so we can now head back and report. I found your report, and I also found Anna's Vendu, but I've got very bad news, grave news actually. <sighs> I feared he might be dead. That's terrible news. I should never have him let explore the runes alone. Did you find the excavation report? Yep, here it is. You found the report. Deliver it to Edwina Albert in Aldrun. I will continue my work here. Now that the lower levels are open, perhaps we can make some discoveries here. In honor of our deceased colleague, Anna Svendu. Well, hello, Pleasure, to meet you. Pleasure to go away from you too. So... There we go. Honestly. 
back to the temple. And from here there's silk striders and stuff. Slave market. Speak, traveler. Fresh game. I do want to free her. But I also know that if you do so, they will just stand there and do nothing. They the AI back in that game isn't that strong or that complicated. Um, as I already said, they, they added the um, the NPCs having wants and needs to later versions of the engine or to the engine of the later games, basically. From here, as I can, from here, I was mixing English and German. I think this should be my last episode today. Uh, from here on, I'm going to use the Silstrider travel service to travel to Aldrun or Balmora. If I can travel to Aldrun directly, that's good. And give the report to our friend Edwina. There you go, Cliff Racer. We don't want you here, or at least not attacking us. Travel. So run Vivek. Uh, we've already been in Vivek. Can even although the major skill likes me more, they charge a little lower prices. So that would basically be the way to go all the time if I wanted to sell everything that I found, then go to Ravir or a good friend. But I think that's not a very good idea right now, so. Oh, maybe there are some Restore Magicka potions in here? Nope. Mm -hmm. I want to see my friend... Av well, you know, first I want to talk to my friend Ajira. You didn't want that shirt, but maybe you want these ing nice ingredients. Get all these ingredients. They're actually they're very fresh, freshly sourced from the dwarven ruins of Ntulifting. That's a good offer, isn't it? Thank you, Ajira. I'm now going to visit Edvina and give her the report that she asked for. Yes, Edwina, I found the excavation report f from Entulefting. Did you get the excavation report? Do you have it with you? Yeah, here it is. Thank you, Nighty. This report will be helpful, I'm sure. Well, actually, to be honest, before I ask her for more duties, I think I'm going to stop here. I must say, I find you most interesting right now. Please go ahead. Oh, you flatter me. <laughs> but you're not my type, Edwina. I'd rather mingle with my own species. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to stop here right now and um, call it a day. I'm actually also getting quite hungry. So for those watching on YouTube, bye-bye. And as always, let the dice decide the fate when the next episode will come out. And until then... Well, I already said bye-bye, right? <laughs> okay, until then.